Good morning, friends. Welcome to GoOnlineTrainings.com. So yesterday we spoken about uh, what is data analytics, what is business intelligence, and what is data science and machine learning or artificial intelligence, and why you need to learn SQL not only with Power BI and along with Power BI. What are the other softwares you have to learn? That is what we discussed yesterday. So now today, uh, we are going to talk about what are the other things uh, in data analytics and what are the other technologies you need to understand and what is data analytics exactly. All these things we need to understand. Okay. So now, uh, if you wanted to deal with either data analytics or it is also called as a business intelligence. If you wanted to deal with the data analytics, you need to have the data. What is the data analytics? Understanding the past is called data analytics. Data science or AI is predicting the future. So this is the difference between data analytics versus data science. You know, 20 years back, data science <clears throat> was called as a data mining today it is also called as the machine learning or artificial intelligence or people also calling this as a deep learning neural networks <clears throat> and natural language processing all these are different names given to the ai artificial intelligence clear so ai means it it, it will predict it is going to be predicting the future that is what is called AI or data science or data analytics means understanding the past. So what was my sales in India last five years? So it was history, right? If you wanted to know history, that is what is called data analytics or business intelligence. So prediction means I wanted to know Amazon company wanted to know what would be. Amazon company wanted to know what would be my sales in India next five years. It is going to be predicted. So I wanted to know whether this aeroplane will crash in next one year or next in six months. I wanted to predict or by scanning your details for one year, I wanted to know whether you will get the heart attack at the age of uh, 50 or 60 or you will get the diabetics you know, uh, within 40s or within 50s, I should be able to predict with the help of AI applications. Clear? So that is what I have discussed yesterday, right? So now if you wanted to deal with the data or if you wanted to deal with the data science, you need historical data. Clear? So the data, you need to have it. So what is the data? Data can be any data. Data can be medical data, health data, country population data, companies insurance data, companies employees data, companies expenses data, police stations will have a claims data, social media data, any data that you can have with the help of data, you can perform two things. One is called you can understand the past or you can also do the future predictions. Yeah, am I clear? But the question, what is the data? So this is the question asked to Microsoft by one journalist in US. What do you mean by data? So Microsoft says data is currency today. Data is currency today, next generation fuel. That is what Microsoft says. So Google is not selling anything to you directly. WhatsApp is not selling anything to you directly but they are very very rich in this world amazon is selling some product mrf tiles is selling some product or dmart or walmart is selling some products right but you know google is not selling anything instagram is not selling anything but how come they are very very rich in this world because they have your data so 
when you have the data you are very very rich data is a currency today or next generation fuel that is what microsoft is telling same question asked to google hey google what do you mean by data so google is selling data is everything today whatever you think that is because of data you're thinking about ai you're thinking about driverless cars you are thinking about uh, automation or even though today people are losing jobs because of a whatever you think of today that is because of data 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 so data is very very powerful today data is very very powerful today that is what google is saying clear now i wanted to understand what is the size of the data every company will have I have the company, I am running the company. What is the size of the data I have? Let me tell you. <clears throat> okay. So now I am discussing about the size of the data. Okay, guys. People who are joining late, they have to fill the form, guys. This is the form I have given in the chart window. In that, you need to mention your email address full name with the surname power bi location your state or the city or the country mobile number click on subscribe other country people please add your country code so remember to give your details so that daily videos are getting posted okay people who are done it yesterday ignore it don't fill the form today and people who are joining first time you got to fill the form whatever be the reason if you're not able to fill the form you should be able to send your details in this email ID. And today is the second demo. You will be able to get the yesterday's class recording video. And today's class recorded video will be given. So please send the details. And you will be able to get a discounts when you have you know data in, in this form. Okay. So that is what I am urging. So this is the form compulsorily you need to fill it up. And tomorrow we don't have a class. The last demo will be on Monday okay monday same timing same meeting id we are going to be connecting and people who are coming joining first time you got to fill the form this form i have given you in the chart window so this is the data the form contains whatever be the reason if you're not able to fill it you send me your data in this mail ids or you can also send the data to this you know whatsapp in this email in this phone numbers Chala. Today is the second demo, guys. So, guys, if you hope yesterday's class recorded video given, if you're not able to get the yesterday's class, mail me separately saying that, sir, I did not get the yesterday's class. I am, you know, I missed your recording. I will be able to send that, okay? So, you can also give me your phone number if you want me to talk to you personally. Yesterday, I called many people and spoken to them. And if you want me to talk to you personally, send me email with your phone number i'll be able to call you and talk to you so that you can get uh, personal career counseling as well okay now what is the data i'm going to be talking about <clears throat> what is the data i'm going to be talking about so the course <clears throat> is telling me okay the data analytics is telling me you give me your data you give me your data i'll be able to store the data somewhere now i will be able to do some kind of a predictions and everything now the question okay data is very very good we are talking about uh data size what is the size of the data every company will have let us talk about my company my company will get every month a thousand inquiries so the size will be in kbs or megabytes so thousand inquiries will be given so all the data all the data we are able to store in excel sheet okay so where are we storing the data in excel sheet we are able to process the data, create a some kind of an information using Excel. So this is the data I'm going to be storing. Who's the student and what course is looking for? 
and male gender or female, male or female date of inquiry phone number email address and that is what the data we are going to be storing initially and anushka wanted to have sql john wanted to have sql peter wanted to have power bi muhammad wanted to have something like that and you have kim kim joined today he wanted to have an power bi right so power bi mail so let me take it as uh, 11th of uh, you know uh, april <clears throat> this is my historical data okay some name at uh, gmail.com and that's it this is the inquiry with <clears throat> like that people are giving me the data but this data is not useful what i do i create a summary or i create a report in the report i will say in you know power bi how many people have inquired 1700 i do the calculation manually 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is what is called processing this is what is called processing clear so that is what you need to understand how many people have inquired for sql i go here i will be able to call and month wise data manually i am going to be filling so this is what is called a report or this is what is called mis reporting people will be calling i will be able to create lot of reports in my company i know excel i will be able to submit this report to my management very simple report i'm talking about but you can also create a beautiful uh, visualization using excel i can go to insert i can uh, go to this data like this okay i will take data like this i'll go to insert i can also create a visualization like this yeah am i clear so anybody who has the data this is a raw data raw data cannot tell you anything this data you are going to be using you are converting into a summary or you are converting into a report or you are converting into a dashboard dashboard means a summary and you may create a data visualization like this in excel or you will be able to show the data and if you make the amount so your fee details are going to be a uh, 100 rupees or 100 dollars you made and paid date and i want you to know what is the total amount received towards msba towards power bi towards sql how many people have enquired and how many people have joined all these are called dashboard or report fee collected month wise fee collected how many people have you know uh, enquired you know divided by these many people have joined so let us say these many people have joined this is enquiries divided by joined people some report which i can understand i will be able to create like this okay na? so however you wanted to use you can use it so this is how we are going to be creating and giving this reports either you create a report or you create a report plus the visualization with the help of excel sheet and you are turning your raw data into information or your raw data into visualization so people can easily understand by looking at the chart so which month the sales is more or inquiry is more which month the you know inquiry is less with the help of that you know what is the sales happened why the sales is less everything the company can analyze so after analyzing what the company is going to be doing company my company management team will decide and they will take a decision so our company uh, sales is coming down so what is that we should do so i think we should increase a lot of ads or we need to give a lot of you know promotions or we need to give a lot of discounts or we need to give a lot of what is the banners advertising so what is that we have to do by understanding that data we need to take a decision so data analytics will be used to take the decisions clear so as a ceo of the company 
by seeing the number by month by month numbers so it is increasing but it is a slow downing it is slow down why it is getting slow down i need to understand probably power ba faculty is not so good so i need to change the faculty or i am not able to get because my competitor is doing very very good people are going there so something i need to understand i need to, to take the precautions clear so any data when you have it in the raw form it is not able to tell you anything but when you convert the data into dashboard or the summary it can give you a lot of insights so you can easily understand clear so that is what is called data storing processing means create a reports or the summary or the dashboard or the visualizations that visualizations are going to be using and you're analyzing and taking the decisions clear so data analytics is the word you can do it everywhere <coughs> with the help of small data or with the help of a large data so this is the you know a story about my company but if you think about amazon.com or google company or state bank of india icsa bank hdfc bank they will be able to get the data daily lakhs and millions remember so they will be able to get the data in the millions million mean 10 lakhs is equivalent to 1 million so what is 1 million means 1 million means is equivalent to 10 lakhs 1 billion means is equivalent to 100 crore clear so i have uh, 10 million data that means almost 1 crore data right so i have a large amount of data every month i'm able to get it the size of the data is too much so when you have let us say every month you're getting uh, 500 gb of data now tell me can you store this much of a data in excel excel is going to be failing we are going to be storing all the data in sql called as a database management system it is also called as rdbms relational database systems or softwares okay so our people will be calling this as a tool to store only data remember if you wanted to store small amount of data excel is fine or you can use paper and pen so there is no problem when you have a small data but when you have a large data like gbs of data you know these tools need to be used but who's going to be processing the processing purpose we are going to be using a language remember so what kind of a sql softwares we have popular tool is called oracle then i, I told you yesterday sql server from microsoft this is from microsoft company then ibm company has a db2 it is the popular tool to store the data then ibm company has one more tool called netiza it is also one more popular tools to store your data <coughs> guys are you able to <coughs> understand so netiza lot of thousands of tools are available all the tools are called as sql tools these are data godowns or data storerooms or you can say these are called your tanks or the drums so i told you yesterday you have a lot of gold where will you store gold bank you have a lot of blood where will you store blood bank you have a lot of data where will you store data bank data bank is called as a database database is called as a sql sql softwares are called as all these things we have Chiranjeevi blood bank we have apollo hospital blood bank we have a care hospital blood bank we have dhanus blood bank we have omni blood bank so different guys are there in the market where you can deposit the blood blood will get stored like that you can go to oracle you can say hey oracle store my data you can buy the oracle software install oracle software in your computer you can store the data it is just like one more excel so however you you install excel store the data the same way you buy a computer install oracle or sql server or a db2 or netiza or we have a lot many tools are available teradata then we have mysql so this is a free free so no licenses are needed so 
all of them are needed. So post gray SQL, right? So thousands of tools are there. So you can take one of the software. If these are called software that the tools install it, your data is going to be stored. So these are going to be used to store the data, to retrieve the data. These are nothing but your tank. In the tank, what you do? You fill the water, you get the water. You fill the water, you get the water. So that is what you're going to be doing with the help of an Oracle. You put the data, get the data. Same thing with the SQL Server. All these are called as all these are called as SQL tools or SQL tools or all these tools are called database management tools or relational database management. So what is the difference between all these things you will be able to understand when you study SQL Server syllabus. So no worries about it. So that is what I told you. You have to know one SQL. If you don't know SQL, you will not get a Power BI job. What are the things that you need to learn? I have told you clearly in the demo number one. If you miss the demo number one, you mail me your details so that I will be able to, you know, send yesterday's recorded video. Am I clear, guys? So this is the story I was talking about <clears throat> yesterday. To process the data, we need to use a language. Language could be anything. Process means, as I told you, I wanted to know what is the sum, what is the total sales. So what is the average sales? What is the sales in India? What is the sales in Europe? What is the sales in America? What is the sales in Dubai? What is the sales for Apple iPhone? All the processing will be done with the help of a language like C or C++ or Java or .NET or even Android or you can have SCAP or even any <coughs> small, small tools, iOS. iOS is also one more language, right? You may use a lot of tools in the market. So one of the tool you have uh, to go to the Oracle, get the data, process the data. For example, I have some data, let us say 10 and 20 is there. I wanted to know what is the sum or what is the average, what is the minimum, what is the maximum, what is the, so I would like to sort the data. So lot of things I wanted to know, this is what is called processing. Now, if I have two numbers, you can also do very, very easily. But if you have 10 million data, 100 billions of data, can you do it very easily? You'll go mad. So that is where these are very, very faster. These are very, very faster. But the problem is you need to know coding. A lot of coding you need to write to process your data. That is what is the disadvantage with the language. Now. Today, the data is not there in the GBs. It is moved beyond that. If the data size is more than GB, so that means what? It is there in the terabytes. We understand every month we are getting 500 GB of data every month into 12 months. It will become this much size is equivalent to this size per year. One year data in Amazon company this much. Now, if you want to store the data for one year, six terabytes, but I wanted to store 10 years data or 20 years data, it will become into 10 years means simply 60 terabytes of data that you will not be able to store in this in uh, SQL. You need to have when you have a large amount of data, you would like to store 10 years of Amazon company's data, Indian IRCTC data, State Bank of India data, normal tools are, cannot be used. So you are going to be using a software or a tool called data warehouse tools only to store the data. You should not write like this where space house is a wrong or you should not do also like this data where space house all these are wrong the warehouse is a single word 
when you have terabytes of data it companies are going to use a lot of bigger bigger computers so this is a very bigger computer large hardware they need to buy first very very bigger computer but what software they're going to be installing inside this same sql only or same database only they're going to be installing but a special name is given to this is a data warehouse for example you have a storeroom in your house so you can have one or two rice bags you can store not more than that because small size but i have a bigger uh, indian food corporation godowns what is the size size is very very big i can store 1 million rice bags over there. So what is the size? The size is very, very bigger. So that is what is called a warehouse. So whatever you have, that is a storeroom. Storerooms are the simple SQL. For example, I buy a laptop. What is my laptop configuration? One terabyte and I have four GB of RAM and I have uh, one i5 processor. That's it. So if I install <coughs> If I install any SQL, <clears throat> you can install, but what is the maximum data I can store? One terabyte, but I am talking about 60 terabytes of data. Even though my laptop can have SQL or RDBMS is installed, Oracle is installed, or you know, SQL is installed, everything is fine. But the problem is my, my laptop configuration is very, very small. This is my laptop configuration i have installed sql or you can say rdbms okay but my laptop is not a data warehousing but if i buy bigger computer so not one i want it to buy 100 terabyte of hard disk i will say 1000 gb of ram not one processor 100 processors capacity and install any rdbms this is not a laptop it will become data warehouse computer so data warehouse means hardware wise bigger software wise same software whatever you're installing in your laptop same thing you can install it here <clears throat> but only the difference is the data warehouse so all the data warehousing machines are available in your data centers okay many companies will say hey this is my data center let me go to google and say data center in india or abroad you see so when you see the images so these are called data centers have you seen very very bigger computer this could be on a data warehouse okay <clears throat> this is a bigger machine where you have installed normal SQL software. SQL means any one Oracle, DB2, anything you can install. Somebody is going to be managing. <coughs> These people are called SQL admin. <coughs> These people are called SQL admin or called as a DBA, database administrators all the sql or oracle servers or data warehousing servers are <coughs> going to be maintained and going to be you know maintained by these people only these people 365 days and 24 by 7 are going to be working no saturday sunday holiday for them no christmas day holiday no uh, holiday on saturday sundays they need to work on the shifts and uh, some Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, they will be able to get the off. Not like, you, you know, Power BI guys or any other developers. These people have to work 24 by 7, 365 days. So, every company will have a lot of data warehousing servers. For example, if you go to Amazon, Amazon has to maintain its own servers. State Bank of India may be maintaining its own servers railways is maintaining its own servers so not railways is going to not going to maintain they will be giving the project to ibm company or tcs company or so one it company is going to be managing the state bank of india data or the railways data 
clear so when you have a large amount of data you are not going to be storing in a simple sql or oracle you have to have the larger data warehousing machines guys am i clear so language we cannot use because you have to write so much of a code so you have to reduce the code <clears throat> so what all it companies have done we have to invent some tools these are called bi tools no coding is required no programming is required so anybody who knows simple 10th class mathematics people who knows 2 plus 2 equals to 4 they can learn bi tools what are the popular bi tools very old tool was sas bi sap bi then you have oba oracle bi then we have Microsoft MSBA. Then afterwards, Tableau BA. Then currently we have a Power BA. So like that, we have a lot of BA tools are there in the market. Earlier, what what you know what whatever these tools are doing, the same work has been done by these languages. Clear? But languages you need to learn the coding. People said no, no, no. If I implement the code, lot of time, lot of energy, lot of money, so and a lot of coding. No, 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 no. We need to have without coding tools. So that is when the people have implemented this. So languages have started in 1940s actually. A language, B language, then 50s and the C language is introduced in the early 60s <clears throat> immediately they have the process the data then they have realized how to store the data for that they have invented sql in the 1970s then they have realized when you have a more amount of data normal sql is not enough then uh, data warehousing concept is released into the market 1990s then afterwards bi is introduced in air 2000 clear so this is the history how the it industry is evolved so slowly 1920 charles barbes invented a computer so then we have you know a binary language in 1920 30 40 a language 1950 b language 1960 language c got introduced which is so powerful right so slowly then for the storing data they have taken a lot of softwares been invented especially ibm people have invented sql software the credit goes to ibm company in 1970s they were having a lot of data processing but ibm company does not know how to store the data electronically so that is when they have done the research and everything they have invented sql software or sql you know tools and everything clear guys now today we are somewhere here now we have many tools are available all of them are no coding no programming softwares so let us understand these tools versus remaining tools this tool is only one tool only the tool is called as a reporting tool or a data visualization tool very very complex and costly even though no coding <clears throat> but very very costly very very complex these are released in the early year 2099 uh, 98 uh, 2001 like that okay and many people were using this and uh, somehow they are able to create a beautiful reports and visualizations and people were using that time immediately microsoft released msbi means Microsoft BI got released in the year of 2005. What Microsoft told, it has a good brand all over the world. Because of the brand, they told, I will give you three tools. Okay, you are wasting your money for only one tool. I will give you a lot of other more features. If you buy a smartphone, you get a camera, you get a lot of other things extra. If you buy a, if you buy a Nokia phone earlier days, only we can talk. But immediately, you know, Samsung and other people told, no, we give you a lot of other phones. A lot of features are available. Because of that, Nokia has gone down. Because of this one tool, 
these are gone down because of Microsoft brand. They tell, we'll give you three tools. One is called SSIS. One is called this tool. One more tool is called SSAS, SSRS. These are the tools part of MSBA, Microsoft Business Intelligence. This is ETL tool. This is analysis tool. And this is what is called a reporting tool. <clears throat> this is what is called a reporting tool. That is what you got to understand. What is a ETL? What is the analysis? What is the reporting? We are going to be discussing on Monday. Okay. So we are going to be continuing from Monday. So what is MSBA? What is SSIS? And what is SSAS? What is SSRS? All of them. But let us understand Microsoft had these are easy to learn, drag and drop. Anyhow, no coding is required. Now, easy to understand because of Microsoft brand, many people stopped using these softwares. So they have purchased SSIS and SSAS and SSRS. What is SSIS and what is SSAS? Let me talk. So I will be talking about this one now. Okay. <laughs> Earlier, Microsoft released SQL Server as a RDBMS software. RDBMS means what? To store the data, to retrieve the data. Kada? So, this was the earlier invention by Microsoft. So, the first version got released <coughs> in the year of 1899. And the purely SQL. SQL means RDBMS, database you can create, store the data. Then they have released 3.0, then 5.0, then 7.0, then SQL Server 2000. So till this time, this is a completely SQL only. But later, SQL Server 2005 got released. When? It got released, you can say, in the month 2005, in the year 2005, which is SQL plus, means it can store the data. MSBA tools also got added in this software only. SSIS, SSAS, SSRS got loaded. Now you need to know what are these tools for. Right? So SSIS stands for SQL Server. Okay, yes, S means what SQL Server integration, integration means combining services. Okay, so this is what is called ETL tool nowadays. The next tool is called SSAS. So, this software is called as a uh, analysis services. We are going to be creating a cube or we are going to be processing the data all these things we are going to discuss on monday now the last one is called a reporting tool so this is where we are going to be creating lot of reports okay now lot of visualizations we are going to be creating so when you install 2005 version you can store the data, create a database, and you can also perform all the uh, MSBA data analysis also you will be able to do. Get the data with the help of ETL, process the data, create a beautiful visualizations. Okay, na? In Monday's class, I am going to be talking about this one. But the story does not end here. So, lot of software <coughs> versions got released. 2008, then 2012, then 2014. These are the versions we have now. Then we have 2016, 2017, 2019. Now we have 2022. This is the latest version you have to install in your computer 2019 or 2022. So when you install, you will get SQL software plus SSIS and SSAS, everything will be installed in your computer.
but story does not end here immediately msba is rocking and even today but microsoft got also shock so what is the shock now the shock is this <clears throat> Tableau BI got released into the market. They told, Tableau company told, MSBI, even though no coding is required, but a technical guy only can create a reports and everything. Tableau company told, they told in the year 2010, they told, hey guys, you can create a report or anything. It is a self-service BI. Means, no technical people are needed, only managers can create. Your MBA guy, you can create a beautiful reports, analyze the data. Then immediately, people have stopped using SSRS or anything. So bigger competition is a Tableau BA to the Microsoft. SSIS, AS is okay, but SSRS was the reporting tool. So this is giving a bigger competition, Tableau BA. Then Microsoft lost everything. Self-service means you need not know anything, anybody prepare. For example, I wanted to cook Maggie noodles. Do you know to know cooking? No, anybody can cook the food. But if I wanted to cook chicken biryani, I should know cooking, right? So, self-service BA means it is just like a Maggie noodle. Anybody who does not know anything about reporting data visualization they can create a beautiful reports and they can use it so tableau ba became superstar immediately microsoft lost his you know sales and everything so microsoft does not stop there so they have released a software called ba power ba in 2015 right because of this power ba because of the brand and but this was costly this was costly microsoft said you pay me only 10 percent of this cost i will give you power ba software or if you buy sql server software i will give you power ba free so many companies because of the brand and inexpensive okay inexpensive or you can say cheap Cheap is not the right word. Inexpensive and very, very sasta, right? Because of that, many people, you know, started using Power BI. Now, if you go to Google Trends, Google will tend to tell you which is one is trending now, okay? We can go to Google. So, trends.google.com, okay? When you go here, uh, trends.google.com, when you go, and I would like to explore something. What is that explore? Power BI is good today. Microsoft Power BI. Or Tableau is good today. Tableau software. Which is good today? You can see the comparison. This is what is called Power BI. You can see. And this is what is called Tableau. Tableau is somewhere here. And Power BI is blue color. Tableau is this one. So Power BI is a trending because of Microsoft is introduced lot many things and very cheap and inexpensive and the complete world is using today and we are in 2023. It is rocking. It is going to rock. But if you wanted to learn Power BI, Power BI is only reporting tool. We can create a lot of visuals. But so what all you need to know <clears throat> so instead of ssrs many pe people have removed this and they are using power bi but along with the power bi you should know ssis it is from the msbi and ssas plus you should also know sql software clear all these things you have to learn so that is what i told you Okay, only learning power BI cannot get you job. So, what all you need to learn? That is what I told you yesterday also. Today, I am telling you, compulsorily you have to know SQL. Then anyhow, daily power BI, you are going to be learning. Then I told you few more things, SSIS and SSAS. 
and even data warehousing you have to know compulsorily so this is what is the complete plan clear so how many days it will take completely three months it is going to be taking so we are going to be completing january uh december and january two months we are going to be learning only this tool so december and january 2024 you are going to be learning almost two months so this month and next month power bi and sql power bi daily live classes morning at eight o'clock and you will be able to uh, get a minimum 45 days classes so we don't have classes saturday and uh, monday sunday monday to friday 45 days means aramly it will take two months to complete okay live classes and daily recorded videos also will be given even though you miss one class don't worry the video will be there with you but how to learn sql sql means we are going to be learning sql server no live classes as of now what to learn you need to buy videos okay you have to buy the videos how many videos you will be able to get 45 hours plus videos will be given so you have to daily watch one video either in the morning or the evening so you take one video one hour video watch only 15 minutes give a break watch again in the evening for a 15 minutes you give a break write the notes watch again 10 15 minutes like that one hour video do you don't watch at a stretch you watch only 15 minutes 15 minutes daily and daily one sql video you need to complete and daily you can attend the power bi class if you have any doubt in the sql server next day morning you can ask me in the power bi class so this is what is the plan you have to do for december and january month once it is over in the month of february <clears throat> only one month february 2024 compulsorily you need to go to the etl tool ssas and this one so so etl will be uh, this is the etl tool so many people will be either talking for ssis or you can also take azure data factory cloud based tool which will be for one month 25 days so live or videos you can have it and these are put together 10 days classes okay this will be given it for free and this is one you need to again buy buy videos or you can also have the live classes so if the live class is there you can have live if the videos are there by air you can prepare it so that is what you can plan and compulsorily you need to have everything sql power bi ssis don't tell me sir i know basics basics cannot work so minimum 60 percent of the interview questions are going to be asked only here remaining 40 percent will come in this clear you cannot say sir i have learned in my college days my friend will teach me i have learned in some other institutes no you will not be able to understand I am going to be giving you very, very basic SQL to advanced SQL videos are recorded since I don't have the time. I'm not taking the classes, but you have to complete the course like this. So what is SSIS? What is ADF? What is AS? What is data warehousing? Everything I'm going to be again covering on the Monday, same timing, same meeting ID you can use. We will be able to complete on Monday the last demo and we are going to be taking it forward clear so this was the story when you have a small amount of data excel when you have gb sub data sql when you have terabytes of data data warehouse but if you have more than this data today the data is not getting stopped in the terabytes it is petabyte of data zeta byte of data yota byte of data yola byte of data this kind of a data is called as a big data how do you store how do you store this kind of a data so to store this kind of a data we are going to be using a software called hadoop it can do two things it can store the data it can also process the data when you have a large amount of data even these tools are going to be failing 
what we need to do big data hadoop people will be calling big data means large amount of data so even these are going to be failing that is where this software is are introduced so 1990 it is there hadoop is introduced in 2003 and 2004 time by google initially so many companies data is increasing and increasing social media slowly and introduced it to the market in the year 2001 2 3 4 now large amount of data coming in they don't know how to store this kind of a data again google invented you know a big data concept in the year of 2003 so i'll give you a simple example so that you will understand when you have uh, to go to a supermarket buy some vegetables how do you go you can take a bike or you can go by walk because it is uh, half a kilometer or two kilometers you can go by a walk you can buy the vegetables or you can take a cycle and go or bike and go you wanted to go to 300 miles you wanted to go to 300 kilometers how do you go can you go by a walk no 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 i have to uh, go by a train or a bus or the car so when the small distance you're going by a bike when the little more distance you're using a car tools have been changed now when the small data use excel when you know the size of the data is increasing you use sql i wanted to go to us how do i go from here can i use a car or the train no 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 i have to use a you know flight so when the data is more we cannot use sql we are started using the data warehousing and bi so when the distance is used more we are using a flight i wanted to go to moon or the mars can i use a flight no 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 i have to use the rocket so when the distance when the data is more and more i cannot use this i have to use hadoop now you don't say rocket is very very powerful so bill gates going to use rocket every day no that is not like that it is it depends upon the use Bill Gates may go by walk, may come by car, may go by flight, something like that. It depends upon the data size. The companies will use everything. They will use Excel, they will use Power BI, they will use SQL, they will use data warehousing, they will use Hadoop also. Clear? It depends upon the data size. The companies are going to store the data. Now, who's going to be analyzing the data, predicting the data? That is where we are going to be using the data analytics or the data science. They may take the data from Excel or from this or from this or from this. They can analyze the data. They can, you know, use the they means I'm talking about either BA tools or the uh, you know data science tools or AA tools because without data, I cannot predict, I cannot understand my past, right? Data analytics, if you wanted to perform, or a data science, if you wanted to perform, somewhere you need to have the data. The data may be there in Hadoop, data may be there in data warehouse, or data may be there in all these computers, or data may be there in Excel. So when you have the data anywhere, you can perform data analytics on top of this, or you can perform a data science or artificial intelligence on top of this. So this is, you have to know how to store the data. Clear? So the data storing and retrieving, cleaning, this kind of a technique is called as a data engineering. Clear? So data science means I told you, what is data science? Data science means predicting the future. Data analytics means, you know, understanding the past, but this guy needs a data, this guy needs a data. So what normally we do, we have to collect the data, clean the data, store the data. <clears throat> this technology, this technique is called as a data engineering or this is also called as a data preparation. So, where do you store the data? You may store the data in Excel or SQL or in a data warehouse or in Hadoop. Clear? So, many people will be calling as, you have to work as a data engineer means collect the data, clean the data, blah, blah, blah. 
and uh, you may store the data later somebody is going to be using your data creating a reports and creating a you know predictions on your data so collecting data cleaning data storing data so this technique is called as a data engineering or a data preparation if you wanted to prepare a food first to collect the vegetables then clean the vegetables soak them cut them you know, uncleaned potatoes uh, you need to throw them out soak them you know or cut them and uh, marinate them then you are going to be cooking so cooking will take only one hour but going to the supermarket collecting the vegetable collecting the chicken cleaning them marinating them will take three to four hours cooking will take only one hour so what is the difficulty activity so anybody can perform this activity very very easy even this activity is very very easy what is very difficult activities this activity Food preparation, data preparation will take a lot of time. So this is what is called a data engineering. You will be called as a data engineer if you're working on what kind of tools we're going to be using here. We are going to be using ETL and SQL here. So if you extract the data, you know, you clean the data, store the data, ETL. So that means you may use SSIS or Azure Data Factory when you when you perform here. So you will be called as a data engineer but along with etl if you know power bi and everything you will be called as a yeah, data engineer engineer plus data analyst or power bi developer right if you know uh, data science applications also like machine learning and everything <coughs> you will be called as a data scientist you are called as a data engineer data analyst all of them you know clear so that is what you got to understand we'll continue on monday and we are going to be discussing data preparation means data engineering clear data engineering will take a lot of opportunities in the it so whenever you go to power bi job people will ask you do you know etl because without data without vegetable chicken how do you prepare a chicken biryani you tell me Hmm? You have to go and bring them and store them in the refrigerator. The next day you can prepare the chicken biryani. So you are going to be storing in the refrigerator. The refrigerator is your data warehouse. Clean the vegetables, store them. Clean the data, store them in the refrigerator. So data warehouse is your refrigerator. You put all the vegetables and tomorrow you cook. The cooking is processing. And after cooking, what you do? To display, you put them in the plate. So put the garnish and everything and give it to the customer. The plate is called reporting. Reporting where you create a beautiful reports. Kitchen is called SSAS. You process the data. Clear? All of them we are going to be doing. Collecting the data, cleaning the data, putting the data or the vegetables in the refrigerator. Those are raw data. They light the stove, go to the kitchen. <coughs> You know, you have to cook the food. That is what is called processing. SSAS is going to be processing your data. Then you are going to be serving the food in the plate. The plate is called a reporting. Clear? So you need to give the report to the customer. So tomorrow I'll be talking about all these things one by one, one by one. So anybody can learn ETL. Anybody can learn reporting very, very easily. This is what is called data analytics in brief. But tomorrow is holiday monday i'm going to be talking about what is ssis what is ssrs what is power bi what is the reporting and everything so hope you like my session guys so today is the second demo got over and people who did not fill the this link uh you need to fill the form you will be able to get the daily recorded videos okay and uh these really videos validity for six months not only today's video all the recorded videos will be given and it will be there for the six months afterwards if you wanted to extend pay some nominal fee very very nominal some 200 300 rupees when you pay you will be able to extend for one or two months or six months so don't worry about that so you can have all the material with you so whenever you get a time, you will be able to watch. If you don't have a time, don't ask for you know any other batch. We don't have any other batch. If you're not, if you don't have the time in the morning, at least what you do, come in the evening, open the recorded video, practice the work. If you if you have a doubt, immediately connect with me. Sir, I'm not able to attend my your live classes because I'm busy, I'm a housewife. 
I am get the timing only in the evening. I am preparing, sir. I have a doubt. This is my phone number. Can we meet online one to one? Yes. Immediately, I'll call you based on your free time. My my free time will connect. We'll see the lab issues or any concerns like that. Many housewives, many people who are working for the night shifts are not able to connect in the morning with me, or they cannot attend live classes. All the videos they're taking and they're watching and they're able to complete the course within three months after that all the job interviews all the <coughs> material all the cv preparation everything is included in this course with no extra cost all the one project is also included interview questions are included you know uh, uh, job placement assistance is included sample cvs are going to be provided project explanation is provided everything is included don't worry about it anybody who knows basic mathematics can come into this even though you have any age sir i'm 42 years old i never worked for a company or i'm working for a company with 12 years in icsa bank as a banker but i'm getting only twenty thousand rupees per month immediately you need to jump right don't work for less salary if you are working for less salary it is a crime right recession is a temporary and what is permanent skills skill is permanent so always go for the skill go for the proper mentors proper gurus so when you have the proper mentors proper gurus 50 percent success always with you right remaining 50 percent when you practice the syllabus and you can get into companies minimum if you put minimum two three years of experience you can crack eight to ten lakhs and three to four years 10 to 15 19 lakh salary also one guy cracked yesterday his name is akshay from pune he never work and he never worked for a company he is age is 36 years old he is running his own bakery earning only twenty thousand rupees per month that guy took the videos completed he got four offer letters his success stories i have recorded uploaded in my youtube channel you can go to bhaskar jogi youtube channel you can see a lot of success stories or you can also go to go online trainings.com my website you can also got a lot of success stories so guys so that is what so go online Okay, guys, you can also see the reviews on the site. So all Google reviews about, you know, our institution, everything you can read and you will be able to get beautiful learning here. You compare our syllabus with any other company syllabus, you will be able to understand people are paying 3.5 lakh in, you know, uh, uh, Manipal University for a data analytics course. And they are telling, sir, this is the best. After joining there, I came to know, you know, they are not teaching anything. They're simply, they're giving some videos. We are not able to understand, sir. Even, you know, a um, lot of mentors, they'll get it. If you pay 3.5 lakh, you can see all the reviews and everything, guys, about our institution. You will be able to understand how we are teaching, how the placements our people are cracking, even though we have a uh, lot many, you know, uh, uh, people are saying recession is going on how to do only it is not the decision it is completely uh, the knowledge if you have the knowledge you will be able to get it and go to go online trainings site you will be able to see a lot of success stories in this right you can go to go online trainings.com and click on the success stories you will be able to see how these people this guy is working for sba last 15 years okay and he got into data analytics. Lot of people, microbiology, Usha, Kumar, so tell lakhs. Many people, Chari, at the age of 42, he got the Sravani as a teacher, right? Thirumala, he was working for the Swiggy boy, I think, I don't know. Some Swiggy boy also got the job. So, a lot of people are able to crack the job. Even BA guys, Bachelor of Arts guys from BR. Ambedkar Open University guy got a job last year. Nobody believed BA guys are also getting a job into IT and he got 8 lakh salary package in Ahmedabad company. Currently that guy is working for 
a 12 lakh salary package and housewives are specially getting work from home options guys okay many of my students are working using work from home so try to get the knowledge nobody can stop your you know uh, journey it is the you know uh, the knowledge or the wisdom it is going to be you know uh, giving you an opportunity not anyone else skills are there you know but if you don't have the proper skills nothing is going to be happening you need to have the proper mentor we are going to be giving you proper mentoring guys chalo so that is what you are going to be getting not only knowledge but also everything i am sure you don't get this kind of a demos elsewhere they will open the power bi they'll teach you click there click here click here you will get a report so who needs that kind of a knowledge so that is not a real knowledge chalo did you like it guys so monday same timing we are going to be meeting